here we have at multiple dosing. So what we've got, I've got drawn here a, a uh, stylized absorption curve. So here's the absorption curve. You've taken the medication and notice the time there. This could be the time in days. And, this is, and what we're measuring is the concentration of the drug in plasma. So there, we've just taken the, the drug and after about an hour or so, if you look on that curve, it reached what we call peak height. Then what happens is, of course, the, the liver and the kidneys kick in and other organs of excretion. So you get a decrease in the amount of drug in the plasma. So we then give another dose. Notice the dose is given not when it's gone right back to the bottom, but it's given at another point in time. So this is initiating therapy. That first dose was the first time this person was taking this medicine. Okay? So we now so we call this the top, the, the top of the first curve is called the peak height. And when it goes down, that's called the trough, trough level. When you give the second dose at the trough level, you see the absorption curve and it goes up to a new peak height. Right? And then, again with time, it'll go down and reach a new trough level. So this is, then we give another dose and it goes up again. And then it'll go down, you give another dose and look what happens here. It goes up again, it goes down. So we're looking one, two, three, four. In this case, we give another dose. Ah, what's happened here? It has reached what we call steady state. So you give more doses, more doses, more doses, more doses, and we now have steady state. So if you're going to ask to have a blood level done on, let us say, digoxin or, or phenytoin or whatever, there is no point in doing a blood level until steady state has been reached. And that could take two, three, four, five doses for it to occur. And depending on the half-life of the medicine, remember half-life, the time to 50% elimination and so on, uh, is going to, and, and various other factors obviously, but that's what's going to affect the half-life, is when you give the next dose. To find out more and earn accredited continuing professional development hours, why not perform the video learning activity on this topic? Go to the Learning Centre at www.osmed.com.au and click the tab entitled Learning Centre.